So many people don't realize that we have a national marine treasure that's right off our coast. And that treasure is called Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary. Gray's Reef is part of the National Marine Sanctuary Program, which, con which consists of 15 marine protected areas that are distributed throughout the United States and several, uh, for and several US territories. So we should feel pretty special that we have one of those 15 marine protected areas. Now, Gray's Reef was designated uh, a National Marine Sanctuary in 1981 by Jimmy Carter, who was president at that particular time. And so just last year, Gray's Reef celebrated its 40th anniversary of existence. So Gray's Reef exists about 19 miles off the Georgia coast, off Sapelo Island, and it's in about uh, 60 to 70 feet of water. Now, what makes Gray's Reef special starts at the very bottom. Because if you go off the coast of Georgia, what you find is that most of the bottom off the coast is sandy, muddy bottom, really soft substrate. That's not very good for organisms to attach to. But when you get to Gray's Reef, you have these rocky outcrops that stick out of the bottom. And it's some of the best examples of the rocky outcrops that exist along what we call the South Atlantic Bight, which is this region along Georgia. And when you have rocky substrate like that, it's very good for organisms to attach to. Now, where that came about was about, between about two and six million years ago, there was sand and mud and shell fragments that were transported out to the region known as Gray's Reef. Over geologic time, those materials consolidated and glued together and produced this hard substrate that now sticks out of the bottom. So we have ledges at Gray's Reef that are anywhere from just a few inches tall up to six feet tall. When you have those rocky ledges like that, organisms can attach to them. Seeing things like mainly invertebrates, things like corals and sponges and bryozoans. And once those organisms attach and they blink at the bottom, it creates really good habitat for other organisms to come in and settle. So things like crabs and lobster and shrimp will come in and start using that habitat because these invertebrates have formed the base. And then once you have these other organisms, you then get fish come in. So then you'll have things like groupers and snappers and black sea bass that will all congregate around these rocky outcrops. And that's exactly what we see at Gray's Reef. So you end up with this really diverse community of organisms that is incredibly fascinating and just really interesting. And one of the things that makes Gray's Reef even more interesting is that it occurs at a region that is between the temperates, which are cooler waters, and the tropics, which are warmer waters. So we're right in that transition zone. So you will see a very unusual mix of species. So you might be swimming around, diving on the bottom, and you'll see two little butterfly fish that are swimming together on the bottom. And those butterfly fish you would only see if you were, you were diving on a tropical coral reef in the Caribbean. But in fact, we get them at Gray's Reef. So you have unusual sightings such as that. The other thing about Gray's Reef is we know that this is one of the calving grounds for one of the most endangered whale species that exist on the planet, and that's the northern right whale. So the northern right whale, whale will come down annually and will spawn and calve along our, our coastline. And then finally, recent research has shown that this area represents a place where sharks will come in and aggregate. And in fact, what we've most recently found is that white sharks be one of the species that come in and use the areas around Gray's Reef often. And so we've had white sharks as big as 18 or 20 feet that have, have come into this region. So I would encourage you to find out more about Gray's Reef. We're unusual in the fact that we have one of these marine protected areas and we should treasure it. And I encourage you to go to their website and find out more about it.